Hi, it's Lucy and today I'm here to do the end of the year book tag. I've seen a lot of people on the booktubes doing this tag and I figured I might as well. I think you were supposed to do this a little earlier in fall, but it is still fall. So here I am doing it. This tag was created by Arrow Bassett. As far as I know, I'm pretty sure she created it. And that's kind of all the introduction it needs. The first question is, are there any books that you started this year that you'd like to finish? I have a tendency not to do that really. I tend to finish every book that I start. So yeah, but technically I started a few books during the reading rush back in July that I ended up putting down because the newts started in August and none of those books fit for the challenges for the newts. And also you're supposed to not start the newts ahead of time. And I really wanted to like follow the rules for the newts. So I did that or as much as I could. So I did that and I ended up putting them down, but all of those books, I was not very far into them. And the only one that I can remember starting was The Long Way to a Strange Angry Planet. And I was literally 5% of the way through it. So my plan is whenever I do get back to that book, I will probably just start it over. And so the answer to this question is no. <laughs> do you have an autumnal book to transition into the end of the year? I don't really have one. I kind of wanted to do a reread of Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban since I have this illustrated edition now but this kind of feels like a more wintry read anyway. Harry Potter to me I just think of Christmas and December so it's not really autumnal and I don't think I'm gonna get to it before winter so yeah but this is the closest I've got to that. I'm not really a seasonal reader in the first place. If you've noticed on my channel I hardly ever do oh this book feels really wintry or for Halloween I didn't read any spooky books because I don't care about Halloween and not I don't care like I still like Halloween parties and stuff but I just don't feel the need to read spooky things and I also don't really like horror books and stuff. I guess I no that wasn't even October. In September I read a bunch of like mysteries and like thriller kind of books I guess but not really because I was feeling spooky it was just because I was in the mood for them I guess. Maybe it was seasonal who knows like in the summer I don't think I read more contemporaries or anything. Um, in the winter I don't really think I read many more fantasies or maybe I do maybe it just happens naturally and I don't notice who knows I'm not really one of those people who like saves books for certain times of the year if I do ever read seasonally it's just because I wanted to pick up a book that so happened to be during that season if that makes sense is there any new release that you're still waiting for and yes there is that would be Children of Virtue and Vengeance by Tomi Adeyemi I had to think about that for a second but yeah if you've been following my channel and my most anticipated releases for the rest of the year. I mentioned it in that video. Last year, Children of Blood and Bone was my favorite book of the year. Really looking forward to that. So much so that this goes into the next question, which is what are three books that you want to read before the end of the year? And so I would like to do a reread of Children of Blood and Bone before the end of the year, before I read Children of Virtue and Vengeance. So just so this can be fresh in my head, I'm planning to do a reading vlog. I've actually already started this book. If you can see the tabs, I don't think you can because it's white. But yeah, I've already started rereading it and that reading vlog will be up hopefully by the end of the month whenever I can finish this book. I'm actually on page 30 already and I've only read for like a little bit today. So yeah, um, but yeah, that's the second book I wanna re read. Or so Children of Blood and Bone and Children of Virtue and Vengeance, I would like to have read before the end of the year. And I would also have liked to re have read at least one more book from my 2019 TBR, which I am doing abysmally on. Like every year I do a yearly TBR where I just choose 12 books that I feel like I want to read that year and I try and read them. Last year I read all but one. The year before I don't think I did very well either and this year I'm not doing very well. I think I have five books books left of that or like six. Uh, yeah, I'm not doing great and I don't think I'm going to read all five or six and I don't really want to try and force myself to read them because two of them are classic books so I'm not going to try and get me myself to do that in a, less than a month and a half but I do want to try and read at least one more so I'm not so epically failing and that book will probably be When the Moon Was Ours by Anna Marie Mecklemore which I did look up how to pronounce her name if you watch my November TBR I like mentioned that I wasn't sure and she pronounces it Mecklemore so yeah and uh, yeah, so I'm looking forward to that. And those are three books I'm trying to read before the end of the year. The fifth question is, is there a book that could still shock you and become your favorite book of the year? I hope so. I want to hope that Children of Virtue and Vengeance will be a five star and like become my ne next favorite of the year, but we'll see. I tend to not always love second books and series that much. So we'll see. 
I, but I hope any other book that I pick up might become one of my favorites of the year at least because so far this year I've actually only given two books five stars and one of those was a reread. So um, I feel like in one of my like end of the year videos I'll probably talk about that how this year has not been the greatest reading year quality wise I think because like I have barely given out five stars or maybe I'm just getting so picky about what I like like I'm not picky I don't know what it is but I really thought I could pick it up in the second half of the year. I think I mentioned that in the mid-year book freakout tag, but I don't think it's happening. I hope it will happen, but I don't think so, so. And the last question is, have you already started making reading plans for 2020? Yeah, not really. I want to, uh, I guess this is my like announcement. Not really, I'll announce it more in December, I guess, but I do plan to do the 12 Days of Lucy Reads again. Last year, I attempted to do it and just it didn't work but this year i live alone so hopefully it'll be better that is when i try to do like all the end of the year videos in the last 12 days of december and one of those videos will be like my reading plans for 2020 basically where i talk about like goals i have for my reading and things but i haven't really planned those videos out so i'm not really sure so far yet yeah so i haven't really started making any reading plans i'm still trying to decide like what my bullet journal is going to be even so but i'll be able to tell you guys in that video towards the end of december and yeah, so this video will have been short and sweet. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, my next video will be longer. So there's that. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. If you have any opinions about anything that I mentioned in this tag, please be sure to leave a comment down below. I, like I said at the beginning of this video, I'm pretty sure the moment for this tag is basically over so i'm not going to tag anyone but if you haven't done it yet and you want to i tag you if you haven't already please be sure to subscribe to my channel because i make more videos where i talk about books and hit the notification bell so you can be notified every time i post a video again thank you so much for watching i'll see you in my next video bye